Okay, get a grip, Richard. <laughs> Yeah, this is the hardware and homewares and all that kind of stuff. As we walked around Hong Kong on our last day here, we came upon a number of markets. Markets for hardware, electronics, markets for clothing. There were even lots of markets for food and vegetables, the same in every country. for my plein air art, all different sizes to hang things. I used to be called the bungee queen in plein air. You know, you've been to one country, you've been to all. Same kind of stand, same kind of poop. Okay, I'm in Hong Kong on uh, Nathan Road. And the uh, first time I came here was in 1979. And right up there where it says the comfort building is Andy the tailor. And Andy made me a couple of suits and a couple of shirts, which I had for a lot of years. So that's like 40 years ago. So here we are again, and I'm gonna go in and see Andy and see what he's got. Well, we went in and uh, Andy was there, but he had to leave, but his brother was there as well and got talked into having a pantsuit made for Virginia. Yeah. Where, where does that mean? 
Happy hour means we can get drunk. You are. You are. Oh, no way. Okay. Let me help you take the chicken out as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. This is Jay, one of the proprietors here. Oh, welcome, <laughs> guys. Welcome to Hong Kong. And this dish is called? The shish talk. So these are your Arabic chicken. It's uh, marinated in your traditional Arabic spices. Where uh, we marinate it 24 hours, we get it grilled. So you get it in the middle of my feet. Well, we have a lamb, curry, and, and uh, shrimp. Yes, prawns. The prawns. Prawns. With um, naan. Garlic naan. <laughs> so our doctors here, they are going to be a... Surgeon, perhaps? A surgeon. Maybe an obstetrician? Gynecology. An gynecology. Well, we wish you luck. When we tried to get up to Victoria Peak a few days ago during the daytime, it was very cloudy and foggy and there was not a lot to see. So now we are attempting to go again at night where the sights should be spectacular. escalator up to the tram for Victoria Peak for a night view. And we had that little pleasurable walk trying to get here, which we thought we were going to get a bus, but that didn't quite work out. Yeah, it was only 15 minutes, all <laughs> uphill. And stairs, all the escalators were closed due to electrical energy savings. oldest and most famous funicular railways. The tram rises to about 1,300 feet above sea level. It's so steep that the buildings you pass look they are leaning between 4 and 26 degrees. Amazing views.
Well, this is the final video of our trip to Asia. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so and hit that notification bell. We'll have a recap video, which will be posted shortly, and then stay tuned for our next trip to Greece, Italy, and Croatia. Thank you for watching.